A Nashville chef is becoming widely known for keeping secrets, and not just where his recipes are concerned. I take you to the Secret Society tasting counter at St. Stephen in this week's Farm to Fork. And so within that journey, you always want to be surprised. At the end, you want to feel like you've been somewhere, and that's what we want people to do. Chef R.J. Cooper is one of Nashville's best kept secrets, or should I say he's one of the best at keeping secrets? Concept in our philosophies about progressive dining. We will never tell you the dish because it's got to be a surprise. The Secret Society at St. Stephen is a 10-seat multi-course tasting menu where diners sit at the counter overlooking the open kitchen. It makes it a more intimate experience where you're really having a conversation with my chefs and myself and, you know, they're, they're taking you along the journey and the path because you don't know it, we do. And there's a story behind every dish and why we're doing it. Cooper is a James Beard award-winning chef. He describes his surprise menus as modernist and progressive. Modernist is you know, a different way of kind of thinking about the progress of what the, the guest should experience. Where we kind of, we, we don't take the, the nuances away from the, from the product, but we're progressively manipulating in a way that other people have not done. So masataki mushroom, otherwise known as pine mushroom, so they smell like, they smell like pine. Cooper says his cuisine is crafted around memories and taste, inspired by the mountains, woodlands, and regional farmers. The freshest you could get, and that's the real importance, and in uh, kind of taking that footprint and not having it expand all over the country or the world to get produce. Cooper is originally from Detroit. After getting his culinary arts degree, he ran restaurants in D.C., New York, Atlanta, and Alaska before making his home in Nashville, creating the secret society for foodies who really want to have an experience, not just a meal. It's so good. And when we share that with you, we want you to feel like you've learned something as well. Uh, not only about the chefs and myself, but you know what the soul is in the, each dish and in each ingredient that we want to showcase. And Chef Cooper says that they get some of their beef from Japan, where the rancher feeds his cattle red wine and sake leaves.